Okay, so this is the new Lenovo X120e. Uh, it's the latest sort of netbook from Lenovo. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and add new RAM today. Uh, okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna turn it around. And uh, what you wanna do first is to uh, remove the battery. Uh, so uh, just to be on the safe side. So we're just gonna set this battery aside. Okay, now the X120e is pretty easy to open. Uh, there's only three screws here, and you can just take it out with any uh, small screwdriver. So, so let's see. So usually you would keep a piece of paper or something to keep track of the number of screws, but since um, this thing pretty much only has three screws, so you don't really need to worry about it. Like I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, so essentially you can just pop it off and then leave the screws on. Okay, so we're just gonna take off the cover. And so here is the inside of the machine. Uh, here we have the hard drive. Uh, I bought the 250 gigabyte hard drive. Um, I'll probably be replacing this later with either a higher capacity uh, hard drive or an SSD card. But uh, essentially right now we're just gonna uh, do memory. Uh, so if you look here, there's two slots for it and one of, them, one of the slots is already filled up with the two gigabytes that, uh, uh, that Lenovo has sent in or has included with the computer. So it's actually very simple to insert in your uh, memory chip card, memory <laughs> RAM upgrade. So if you want to look, you got to make sure that uh, these pins line up together uh, like that. You want to make sure that the, the gold plating is set to the middle right here. Okay, and it's going to be very easy. All you have to do is just tuck it under so that it fits in the slot diagonally and just carefully bend it down until you hear the click. Okay, so once you hear that click, that means it's in place. Uh, and it's, again, very simple. Uh, if you want to get, uh, remove the RAM, let's say you want to upgrade to a higher capacity, then you just pull on those two little knobs on the end and then pull out the memory. And then just pull it back in. And then just press down and and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you need to do to install new memory. Uh, so we're just going to put the case back on. Uh. Okay, and then we're just going to uh, probably fast forward to this because uh, this is the same thing, it says we're just screwing back the lid or the bottom. So once you have that, you also want to put in, reattach your battery like that, and then carefully turn it over. All right, we're gonna plug in to get some power out here, and then we're just gonna turn on the computer. Okay, so it's starting up right now. By the way, uh, the memory that I bought uh, was from G-Skill, but essentially all you really need to look for uh, is memory that's rated at uh, uh, DDR3 uh, 1,333 or 1,333. Um, Okay, wait, hold on. Now Windows is logging in. Let me readjust this so you can see. Okay. Um, so, looks like uh, we need to go look at the new memory. Uh, 
Okay, and if you can see right there, let me. Uh, that's a little bit blurry, um, but essentially, yeah, we have four gigabytes of RAM now. Yeah, that pretty much does it. Okay, so hope you enjoy this, and uh, thanks for watching.